And we're off. At a much quicker speed. And a horse in our possession. Hopefully we can form a good bond. Can you level up the horses? Oh my god, I ran over a stork! Come on, listen to me. It's okay, girl. Or boy. This one's a speckle's a boy. Kakariko Bridge. My horse is gonna throw me off this bridge. Come on, sorry. is our... We have a good bond. We have a good bond. Come on. You're making me look bad in front of the viewers. I'm trying to show them I'm good with animals. Doesn't want to listen whatsoever. Mind of his own. It's not pronounced brittle. It's pronounced bridal. Thank you. Thank you. I am... Notoriously known for mispronouncing words. That's just like one of the things I'm known for. <laughs> Don't fall off the cliff, please. This horse was like suicidal. <laughs> we finally found the Shaka Lockin. Shaka Laka? Yo! You can see me! I can't see you. Shaka Lako? Then how are you talking to me, silly boy? It's been 100 years since anyone's been able to see me. I'm Hetsu, and I need your help. These monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. Not the maracas. I think they're still over there by the other side of those rocks. Oh, poor guy. I can't use my powers without them, Shaco. So please, please give my maracas back. I got you, buddy. No one's gonna be stealing my boy's musical instruments. If I have anything to say about it. What else am I gonna shake my big busty titties to? If you take if the maracas are stolen. I'm gonna keep using this boomerang. It seems like a good OW! That hurt really bad. I got overpowered weapons. What you got that's gonna freaking do about it? All you have is a stupid stick. Stick! 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 I got the stick! 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 I got the stick! 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 Wait, I can feed the horsey apples? I wanna feed it apples! Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Well, I could jump off right here if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but I could if I wanted to. That's what I love about this game, is you can jump off things, and Link doesn't just, like, oh, out of existence. He just goes down there and does his thing. Wow, this hill is inclined enough that I was able to just jump and fly down. Shakalaka! Are those my maracas? Please give them to me! I'm sorry for everyone's eardrums. Shakalaka! But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shako? If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. I have the power of inventory expansion. So which stash do you want more slots in? Uh, shield, please. I hate being able to only hold like four shields. Definitely want to expand each one at least once to start off with. Yeah, shake your titties, shake your titties, shake your titties, yeah, 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 yeah. When I was a baby, I was sucking on titties. Now that I'm grown, still sucking on titties. Different titties, but titties in the less. First thing I do when a girl undress. Okay, we can have a lot more bows. I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me, Shaco. Sorry, I have to go, but I still need Korok seeds, so bring some to Korok Forest if you find any. Aw, oh, dang it. 
Oh, I was really hoping that I could upgrade more. But before I do this, let me feed my baby some apples. She deserves so many. How do I feed? Ah, did she just take it out of my hand? She did! This one's for you too. This one's for you too. This one's for you too. Aww, she loves it. Oh! Never mind. My bad. <laughs> this guy got freaked Aww. out. Climbing cliffs is a challenge on a rainy day, even for an old hand like me. Best to just wait out in the rain on those days. I'm selling a few things I've picked up in my travels. Doesn't cost a look. Ooh. Yeah, for sure. This is a golden beetle. I have to buy it. It's made of gold. Ah. So pretty. And that's good. Goodbye. Ah. No, you take care out there. Oh, oh. Climb, climb in the hill. As Morgan Rider pops into chat saying hello. What are you riding, Morgan? Please elaborate. It's always best to just jump off the horse. Way more fun. Easy. Make a match. Whoa, his leaf looks kind of like a mustache at the bottom. I think we're almost there. It's been quite a journey, but we're almost to the destination. There's the sign. Home sweet home. Of oh, this horse, I swear to God. <laughs> Stop doing this. Why you gotta be like that? Hello? Ouch, are you okay? Wait. I gotta check on this dude. He's hurting. What's the old lady? Traveler, I'm sorry, but I seem to have twisted my ankle. Hmm, let's see here. You good? Oh. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Why is she apologizing? Aww. You're the one hurt. Where did you get that object hanging from your waist? Link giving a good little explanation. So cute. Ah. Yes, I see. That Sheikah slate is a symbol. It means you are the hero of legend. Though there are few who know of such legends anymore. But we Sheikah have been waiting for you for a very long time. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet with our leader, Lady Impa. Yeah, I got you. In any case, it was a real honor to meet you. I suppose you're used to that, having lived as long as you have. She knows too much. We have to kill her. Kill Nana. Ooh, Nana. That's her name. Ooh, Nana. That's her name. Kakariko Village in this game reminds me of Okami. Ooh, that'd be another game I would love to stream someday. Since I've never played the HD version of Okami. I've just played the, the Nintendo Wii version, which was fun, but the graphics were muddy in that game. It'd be so much better to play on Switch. Yeah, Kakariko just has... No Kami vibe. I think it's the music mainly. Talo Naeg Shrine. Oh, they're giving us a free chest just like that? Here, let's, let's go ahead and kill a bitch first. It's one of those fighting shrines. Oh, busting it out. He's like... Let me out. Bam. Oh, wait, it broke. Scary. Let's use... I should probably save my really good weapons. Go use the iron sledgehammer, so this can actually be a little bit of a challenge. Oh, is this a tutorial? 
Oh, that was close. Ow! There we go. That's how we do it. He's indestructible! Thank you, ominous texts from the void. Whew. That was a close one. I love strafing. It's so satisfying. Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. I got you, I got you. I know what I'm doing. The finishing blow, baby. Seems like most people said I should upgrade stamina, so that is what I'll do. Let's not forget the chests. So it's probably a shield, I'm guessing. Yes, because you need a shield to be able to fight that fellow. This was some sort of weapon. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, the, the beginning of this game is going to be fairly easy for me. Because like I said, I've beaten Breath of the Wild once. So it's not like... The, be the beginning of the game is fairly easy. I really don't know if it gets super hard in the future or not. It's kind of hard to say based off of like what I remember. Does the DLC get difficult? I, I don't even know what I'm talking about if I'm being honest. Opal! Every time I get Opal, I think of the girl from Legend of Korra that dates, that dates Bolin in what, season three or four? Bolin just dates everyone. He's a man whore. But it's okay, we support Hosier. Oh, we have six orbs. We're close to getting two upgrades. It's so peaceful here. There's the little goddess statue. It's time to pray to the Quatsa. Uh-oh, I choose stamina. <laughs> Bolin has carrying himbo vibes. <laughs> he does. He's a sweet guy. I'm more of a Mako fan myself, but Bolin's sweet. Go bring peace. I'll bring my piece of ass. You there, who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm. Is that a Sheikah slate? But that would mean you are. No, it's not possible. Can it be? Oh. Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. That's right, you better stand down. I don't know what they thought they were gonna do, but I'm happy I didn't have to kick their asses. Yes, please, let me inside. But wait, first. I gotta drop an apple. How do I drop it? Like that? Pfft. Link, you're the worst apple dropper ever. Yay, now every frog has their own appy app. Their own apple the app. Yo, Stevo, how's it going, dude? Nice to see ya. You a fan of Breath of the Wild? I like these little, like, trees with the white blossoms next to Impa's house. Very decorative. <gasps> A man! Huh, is that? It's a Sheikah sleigh. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Lin? Um, oh, it's not that I forgot, it's just... I'm bad with speaking. As for me, my name is Pa Pa Pa. Oh, my name is Paya. Phew, I got it out. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyways, 
My grandmother's been waiting for your return ever since I was little. But please hurry inside. I'm in here. Let's keep on making her feel embarrassed about her existence. I am back on Twitch. I got my computer fixed, so here I am. So, you're finally awake. Oh my gosh, she's so old. She's so old. It has been quite a long time. Not the knee slap. <laughs> I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Yo, what's up, Morgan? How you doing? Thanks for watching the pot sanity. Ah. What is the matter? You are looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of fami familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. Oh. Oh, you lost all your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. And hold me in the backseat of your rover that I know you can't afford, like that tattoo on your shoulder. I feel cold out. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting 100 years to deliver the princess's message. However, I'm old and have shitty memory, so I can't remember what she wanted to say. If you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. Oh, am I ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready. Let's snoop while we think about it. <gasps> oh, God, Link loves reading diaries. He's such a snoop. This is Pia's diary. Ooh. Grandmother says she's conspiring with Princess Zelda and Auntie Pura 100 years ago. They decided to put a lone swordsman into a long, deep sleep as to prepare for a time that was foretold in Legends. What are the chances she was journaling about this literally the day before we arrove? What? The name of that swordsman is Link. Since then, Grandmother has been waiting for him to reappear after all this time. I too pray that he awakens soon, for the sake of Hyrule and for Grandmother's sake as well. Okay, let, apparently they've been talking about me recently, so let's see, let's see what's going on. The words that the princess risked her life to impart to you. I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? <laughs> Fuck it, let's do it. Ha! Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not yet changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Well, I just realized she's sitting on a bunch of pillows. I thought she like had a dress on or something, a big red dress. But nope, she's on a, a pyramid pillow. Or a pillow pyramid, whatever sounds better. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. I swear to God, if it's in front of that hieroglyph picture, it's always in front of the hieroglyph picture. Why? The history of the, the, royal, history of family the royal family of Hyrule, of Hyrule is, is also, also the history, the history of Calamity Ganon. Calamity Ganon. Oh, she's speaking it for me. A primal me. evil that has endured over the ages. Evil? This evil? This evil has turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero. And a princess who carries the This part's more boring than the intro to Wind Waker. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago.
Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. I like the instrumental here. I like the little they sounds. Four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. How come Hylians have autonomous robots before we do? The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. I thought she said neutered at first, but no, neutralized. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient It's the Ganon music. It's his organ. The guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the divine beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Whoa. What a story. I am blown away. Grandma is such a good storyteller. Part of me like wishes there was more visuals paired with that cutscene, but at the same time it is kind of cool that when they first tell you that story, it's mostly just verbally, so you have to like just kind of picture it yourself. And it allows your imagination to paint it in. In preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Oh. Suck my ass, bitch. Is That is what she said. <laughs> no, four divine beasts? The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast Varudania, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. The divine beast Vamado, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. Divine beast Varuta, controlled by Mipha of the Zora. And the divine beast Vanaboris, controlled by Yerbosa of the Gorudo. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beast to help you. You must infiltrate the divine beast. Whoa, I just realized the picture that she just showed us is behind her. Is she green screening that in? More information about these divine beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Whoa, that's a really far scatter. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. Dude, legit, I kind of want to get the... <laughs> I want to get the same tattoo that Impa has on her forehead. How she has the lens of truth as like a third eye in her forehead. That's so sick. What if I did it? I wouldn't do that. Unless... It seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Now, let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hatino Village might be able to help you. Oh, she marking it on the map? Shigeji? It is a small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering 
significant damage during the Great Calamity. We got another main quest, baby. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, in high rules as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Check. The deed has been done. What is this? Is that coffee or something? No, that's some sort of board. Speaking of bored, her story left me kind of bored. I feel like she could have told that in a way more interesting way than she did. But it's okay. At least we know some of the lore. Oh, is he painting the house? That's not too bad, actually. I like the, the waterfalls he painted behind it. Hmm, are you? Sorry to bother you, but are you a fellow traveler? As for me, I just love art! In fact, I'm traveling the world in search of beautiful landscapes. Just between you and me, I hear that a great fairy fountain is somewhere near the village, and I heard it's breathtakingly beautiful. Aesthetics aside, they also say the place can bestow some sort of mysterious power on people. However, since I'm an outsider, I can't get anyone to tell me any more details than that. These villagers never leave the safety of their village, so travelers like me are treated with suspicion. I would have managed to find out anything, I'll be sure to let you know. Thanks for the deets. You are a good friend. How many Koroks have I found so far? Seven. Almost done! Is it? Isn't there a portion of the map that tells you what percentage you've completed the game? Or am I crazy? What am I remembering that says this? Is it like, is it on the save file data? Oh, it doesn't show you until you beat Ganon? Gotcha, gotcha. Dude, he just like whipped it up. Did you see that animation? That was pretty sick. You be just like a Splatoon character. He kind of does look like a grown-up Splatoon character, almost. Oh, here he goes again. Shoo! How's it look? Oh, it's looking great, dude. It's looking great. All right, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you all have a fantastic evening. I appreciate you. Much love. Um, you can catch these VODs on Y2Can, new VOD channel. Make sure to subscribe to that. I'm posting lots of dope videos there. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace. Stunning that foe. Yeah. Running that foe. <laughs> True. Shoot it by foe. Looking him down to the foe. I'ma leave him more dead than a reject. Yeah. Then I'ma run to the town for a new threat. Now I won't take